I thought it was kind of humorous when I read the uh, text from the Monday and Tuesday's broadcast that I talked about in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 8, where the Apostle Paul is talking about how if the trumpet does not have a distinctive sound referring to the speaking in tongues of the church, if, in other words, if people don't understand anything, then it's not anything that's productive. And perhaps maybe you've... Uh, heard this term before he said it's barbaric he said it's just it's just to the point where it just doesn't make sense well you may have heard the expression somewhere along the line is that words mean things and they do or at least they're designed to mean things i mean i always say this i said uh if i'm upset about something i just hush because I know that if I start spewing out a bunch of words, I may end up saying words that I don't really mean. I don't really feel this. I'm just a little bit upset. And now I'm just saying things, but those words are going to have an effect. And somebody might become very wounded because of words that uh, I may have said that have come out of my mouth and uh, the scripture tells us in the in the Psalms is this, uh, the, a wounded brother is harder to be won than a fortified city because once you've wounded somebody, it's it's very very difficult to take those words back. So it's better to just not say anything until you've calmed down, you, you've you've got yourself collected. And now you can get your thoughts together. And if there's something that needs to be communicated, then you communicate it in such a way that it's clear and distinctive and you're able to say what you really feel and what you really think. And, and perhaps maybe there's something that you feel like that needs to be corrected. You do it in a loving manner and you have control over the conversation. Well, what the Apostle Paul is saying, if if, uh, if words are just being thrown out or they're being disguised in such a way that they're, 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 you're making what would seem like a sentence, but it doesn't even come together as a sentence because it doesn't make any sense. I said, well, how are people or an army going to be able to prepare itself for the battle if communication does come forth? One of the things that I have just taken note of, and I've lived a few years and, and uh, been lived through a few political campaigns and, and that type of thing, is that a lot of times what people want to do is that they just want to evoke emotion because they want people to react emotionally and make their decisions. If, it's, if it has to do with voting, they want them to, to, to vote their emotions. And so as a result of that, there's no clarity of, of words to say things that are going to really uh, define a position or say, oh, this is how I feel or this is what I would do. No, no, it's just trying to evoke the emotion to get the response that they want. But the truth of the matter is, is how does that prepare the people for the long run? to be able to make decisions that are going to be the best decision for their own lives and for their families. And that's why the apostle is making this comparison, talking about the speaking in tongues, but he's talking about the importance of communicating words that truly have a positive impact. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.